Okay, let's go ahead and talk about finding intercepts in this case of a circle. But the process for finding intercepts is the same whether we're dealing with a circle or any other graph. To find the x-intercepts, any point that is on the x-axis has a height of 0. Therefore, our x-intercepts should be of the form something 0. And likewise, our y-intercepts, anything on the y-axis, there aren't, there is no distance right or left, so this should be of the form zero something. So it's as easy as this. I just want to put the value zero in for y to find my x-intercepts. So I get x minus six squared plus zero plus three squared equals 16. At that point you may think, well let's go ahead and FOIL this. Uh, I'm just going to ride this one out for a little bit and then explain why we might not want to FOIL that a little bit later. So x minus 6 squared plus 9 is 16 or x minus 6 squared is subtract 9, 7. And again, at this point, you're probably maybe thinking, um, let's FOIL this out, let's subtract 7, let's try to refactor, or if it doesn't factor, let's go quadratic formula. But we have a better option than that. We can just go x minus 6, take the square root of both sides, equals plus or minus root 7. Why plus or minus? Because if this was square root of 7 and we squared it, it would be 7. But if this was the opposite of square root of 7, and we squared it, it would still be 7. Therefore, we end up with add 6 to both sides, 6 plus or minus root 7. So we have two x-intercepts, which shouldn't come as too much of a surprise, because this is a circle. Okay, so then the second step, we would put finding y-intercepts, we would put 0 in for x, and we would get 0 minus 6 squared plus y plus 3 squared is 16, or 36 plus y plus 3 squared is 16. And some of you may see what's happening here already. If I go ahead and subtract 36, I get y plus 3 squared equals negative 20. Hmm. My next step would involve taking the square root, and I'd be taking the square root of a negative, so I get no solution for this. So I'm going to suggest there are no y-intercepts, but let's, t let's think about that just for a moment. Let's look back at the original equation where we had our most interesting value of x over here at 6. And we had our most interesting value of y down here at negative 3. There's our center of the circle. The circle only has a radius of 4. Therefore, this is an endpoint of the circle. Our circle looks something along that line, and it doesn't ever hit the y-axis. So, not surprising that we don't have any y-intercepts.